Hi, this is Jonathan from gettingpaid.io, gettingpaid.io. And in this video, I'm going to summarize for you an entire marketing degree, basically in a span of a YouTube video. Okay, this video is structured. So there are timestamps down below as well. So if you do want to check out the timestamps or skip ahead to various topics, for example, uh, you can do that as well. Okay, so who is this video actually for? Uh, this video is for people, for example, who are going to go and take marketing jobs or uh, you are already in marketing, for example, you're already in the space and want uh, more solid fundamental stuff like that. And the third one is basically if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, uh, you need to be selling something, right? Uh, how, you, how do you go and get customers and stuff like that? So it's very, very important for you to know the fundamentals of marketing so that you know how the game is being played as well, okay? So let me just get right into it. Okay, I apologize for my handwriting beforehand, uh, but okay, maybe you might even want to take out uh, notes for yourself and write it down if this is useful uh, for you, okay? So in terms of, uh, let me get started, okay? So in terms of the types of jobs, for example, right, usually when you're recruiting someone or when you're going to find a job in marketing, for example, right, they will call it many, many different things, okay? They will generally call it growth, for example. They will call it uh, digital marketing, okay? They'll call it obviously normal marketing as well, marketing, right? And then they are also call it acquisition, okay? So acquisition specialist, if you've ever heard as well, there are other things, for example, social media specialist, okay? There's also SEO specialist. There's also conversion rate optimization specialist, okay? So there are many, many dif different names to the job, uh, but basically you are basically all trying to help people make more money, simple as that, okay? When you are in an acquisition role, when you're in a marketing role, keep in mind, you are there to sell product. You are there to sell service. You are there to bring in the money, okay? So generally, okay, there's only two things that you can sell. You only can sell product or service, okay? Really dependent on what you're doing, right? What company it is, okay? This could be anything. This could be a physical product, e-commerce, right? This could be software, okay? This could be services, right? You're selling digital marketing services, whatever it is, okay? So no matter what you're selling, you're gonna be selling something and that's why you need to know the fundamentals, okay? Uh, okay. So in terms of uh, the job marketing or the industry in general, right? Uh, a lot of people are going to tell you it's very, very stressful, okay? Let me tell you why. The reason why is because you always have KPIs, okay? So KPIs are uh, key performance index uh, indicators, which means that I can measure how good you really are. So if, I, if, if you go to a company, for example, and you tell them, okay, hi, Mr. Company, hi, Mr. Boss, okay? We can help you make $5 million. Okay, you could potentially go to them and say, okay, let me charge you 500K. Okay, so, so I will bring you and make you $5 million. You pay me 500K. Okay, so obviously this is what, 10%, I think. Uh, you're charging 10% of the value that you bring. Okay, this is a, basically a 10X return, right? So to any business owner, if you tell him this thing, right, it's very, very easy for you to charge this 500K. Obviously, uh, getting the result and making $5 million is a different scenario. However, uh, it's basically this. Right? And that is why uh, the job itself is stressful. Purely because if you are not hitting your KPIs, if you are performing uh, below whatever, right, then it's very, very difficult for you um, to get promoted, get whatever it is. Okay? So basically, the entire marketing industry technically is meritocratic. Right? Meritocracy. Right? If you really can make people money, you can make money. No matter who it is. Right? If you're from Asia, Africa, China, uh, India, Europe, uh, USA, it doesn't matter. Like, nobody cares. Okay, if you can make them money, they will pay you money. Simple as that. Okay, so that's that's really the good thing about marketing. Okay, let me move on right now. Okay, and let me now talk about uh, the types of traffic. Okay, so uh, they they call it media buying. Okay, in the industry they call it media buying. Okay, so what what is media buying? Okay, media is basically uh, content. Okay, anything from for example videos, photos, right, uh, news, uh, blogs right? Newspapers, everything is a form of media, for example, okay? There is attention in media, okay? So a lot of people are consuming uh, YouTube videos online, for example, that's a, a way of consuming attention, consuming media, right? And so even when people see this media, right, they are eyeballs, okay? People are watching, which means that wherever people are watching, people have attention. You can sell attention. You can put a product in front of those people and you can sell them something, so that, that is why it's called media buying because uh, you're selling these eyeballs and you're turning them into money, okay? So very, very simple, okay? So in terms of the different types of traffic sources, the different types of media, for example, okay, let me go through with you. Okay, where, where can you place advertising? 
where can you actually do these things? Okay, there are several ones. So I'm going to go through some web advertising ones as well as I'm going to tr go through some uh, traditional forms of media as well, which are not dead today. Okay, so there's SEO, right? PPC, Google, okay, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Display, right? There's content marketing, uh, there's partnerships, okay, and then there's TV. Uh, sorry, one more, uh, direct mail. Sorry, my handwriting. Okay, so simple, very, very simple. Okay, media. Okay, so these are the majority uh, marketing channels. Obviously, there are more in the world. Uh, these are the ones that mostly dominate and make the most money in real life. Okay, anyway, uh, SEO is basically search engine optimization, which basically means if you go onto Google, for example, right, you search something and the search result comes up to the top, right? So the, the search engine optimization, this skill set, is basically, can you bring all all my, my website stuff to the top so that people see it and people click on my links and they go onto my website, right? And then they buy something, okay? Very, very simple SEO, search engine optimization. The second one is PPC. So PPC stands for pay-per-click, okay? So this could be Google, right? Or this could be Amazon uh, or different sorts of marketplaces use PPC as well. So pay-per-click is called pay-per-click because uh, you only pay Google, you only pay Amazon when someone clicks on your listing, when someone clicks and then goes to your website. You do not pay them uh, to show the ad, which actually is a good thing, technically. Okay, so that is PPC or Google. I'll just wrap it up here. Okay, uh, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat. Okay, these are considered, uh, I would say, auction-based um, advertising. Okay, so PPC works on an auction as well. But this one, auction, uh, they will charge you, these guys will charge you as long as they show the ad. So they don't care how many clicks you get, right? They only care if they show your ad one time. If they show your ad one time, 100 times, for example, right, they're going to charge you and money is going to come off your bank account. That is why it's based on impressions and eyeballs. Understand? It's an auction, okay? Uh, similarly, display is kind of the same thing, but they're on a PPC. So display campaigns are the ones, for example, if you read the Wall Street Journal, for example, and then there are some ads at the side. This is called display campaigns. Okay, um, okay, content. Okay, what is content? Okay, content could be what I'm doing right now. Blogs, YouTube videos, right? Uh, let me see, uh, photos, whatever it is, right? So right now, you are watching me on YouTube, on Instagram, or TikTok, whatever it is, right? This is considered content, okay? That is why content marketing, if you have ever heard it before, is basically the production of content so that people are watching the content, people come and see, and are basically able to buy your products and services. Okay, that is content. Content production. Sorry about that. Yeah. Next one is partnerships. Okay. So if you have ever seen any two companies collab, for example, that is considered a partnership, right? So uh, imagine uh, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, luxury brand, right? They go and collab with some crazy brand like, I don't know, Adidas or whatever it is, right? They go and make a shoe to together, right? A partnership is important or is very, very effective purely because uh, the, the brand and, and the loyal followers of each brand, uh, they, they learn about each other, right? So, for example, uh, if you watch K-pop, I don't know whether you watch K-pop, but I watch K-pop. Uh, Blackpink. So, Blackpink is a very, very famous K-pop brand, uh, K-pop group in the world, right? They go and collab with, for example, uh, Puma, Adidas, whatever it is, right? And so, uh, the audience of this brand is going into Puma, and uh, Puma people also know Blackpink. Right? So for, for the two parties involved, obviously there's money, there's changing hands here. But the two parties win because you expand your entire audience, you expand your entire range of people you can sell to. Make sense? Okay. Uh, this one is quite straightforward. It's TV. Obviously, uh, in the new age, nobody watches TV. But people do actually advertise on TV. Okay. It's just very, very, very expensive uh, because uh, TV is limited. Make sense? Okay. And last one, direct mail. So what is direct mail? So imagine I send a piece of envelope, right, uh, to your house, and I mail it to your house, okay? That is called direct mail, okay? The, the problem with di di direct mail these days, it's, it's not that it doesn't work, it's that it's very, very difficult to track. So in, in normal digital advertising, for example, tracking is very, very easy because there are pixels, uh, there's data coming through. But in terms of direct mail, you cannot do this, right? So imagine uh, a boss tells you, okay, John, you go and send 100 mails out. Okay, and then this produces two hundred dollars in sales. Okay, I do not know, right? I do not know, um, uh, like who who exactly bought it. I do not know, um, 
you know, the, the clicks, how many people open, how many people did not open, it's very, very difficult to track that, okay? So that is why direct mail is kind of like dying or less people are using it per se. Uh, but it, was, it may be, it also be a, be a good thing because not many people are using it. So the prices are decreasing as well, okay? So you can see here, there's so many forms of media, right? But when you're in, a, in, in an advertising role, you should know every one of them. You don't need to be an expert in any of them, uh, sorry, in all of them, but you do need to know that they exist because if, for example, in the future, you become a CMO, right? Uh, as a CMO, right, you can do a lot of things. Right? You are in, in charge of all of the channels, right? So you do need to know what your options are in terms of what you can deploy to go and get customers, for example, okay? So that is uh, forms of media, okay? The next one, okay, very, very, uh, next one is a very, very fundamental concept that you need to understand, okay? Uh, funnels. I don't know whether you've heard this name before, but if you're on this channel, probably yes. Okay, uh, they are marketing funnels, right? So funnels are basically how do you get someone from not knowing you uh, to buying your product and services, okay? So a funnel, if you've ever seen a diagram before, it's really just like this, okay? It's gonna look like this, okay? But uh, let, me, let me just make it an easier diagram here, okay? Uh, it's here, okay? So at the top, the top is people, okay? So I'm gonna put like people here, okay? At the bottom here, money, simple, okay? And then uh, every funnel is divided into three things, okay? It's the top of funnel, there's the middle of funnel, and then there's bottom of funnel, okay? So the top of funnel means that uh, they are advertising to people who do not like, trust, and respect you, okay? So if you're watching me for the first time on YouTube, okay, you probably do not know me, you don't like me, or you don't trust me enough, Okay, if you've probably watched multiple of my videos, then uh, you already LTR me, right? It's totally fine. But if you don't, right, then you are at the top of the funnel, okay? You are the people here who are uh, entering my world for the first time, okay? You're entering the gettingpaid.io ecosystem for the first time, right? So it's the first time coming to know me, it's the first time coming to my brand, and that is basically the top of funnel right here, okay? The middle of, middle of funnel, these guys here, these people already like, trust, and respect you, yes, right? However, they have not bought from you, okay? So they have not made any purchase with you. They have given you a time commitment, okay? However, they have not given you a money commitment. So they have not given you any money. So technically, they're not a real customer. They're like your friends, right? They're your acquaintances. Uh, you know they exist and stuff like that. You like them, uh, but you haven't given them money, okay? And then at the bottom of the funnel, for example, okay? Bottom of the funnel is people who really, really like you. Okay, they are very, very willing to give you money, but they have not given you money, okay? So um, these people, are they already have a very urgent problem. They know about this problem, but they haven't pulled the trigger to give you money, basically, okay? So it's very, very simple to understand. However, I think giving you this analogy uh, will be much better, okay? So uh, imagine you're going to date someone. You need to go and get a girlfriend or boyfriend, okay? So... I give an example of me, for example, right? So, for example, if I wanted to go and get a girlfriend, right? Um, there's the top of funnel, middle of funnel, and then bottom of funnel. So, what is at the top? At the top is girls. Okay, let me just draw people. Uh, girls. And then at the bottom is probably um, like marriage or like, uh, sad to say, but yeah, sex, right? So, that, that's the bottom of the funnel. The top, of the top of the funnel is basically as many people as possible, as many girls as possible, right? So, uh how do I get more people or how do I get one girlfriend, for example? How do I get one sale, okay? I need to push people down the funnel here. I need to get them from like, like, trust and respect me to really, really liking me, right? And then afterwards, um, you know, handling any objections that they, that they have, for example, okay? And so what, what, this, what could this be, right? How do you push people down the funnel here, okay? You need to go and take them on dates, for example, right? You need to go and message them. Right, you need to get in front of them as much as possible, getting them to know you, getting more interactions, and getting that screen time, for example, right? So the, the more they know me, the more they're gonna trust me, the more they're gonna buy from me in the future, for example. Does that make sense? Okay, so that this leads to your sale, this leads to marriage, this leads to sex, for example, right? So it, it's really the same way, right? A marketing funnel is really pushing people from not knowing you to getting them to do an action, which is basically what you want. Does that make sense? Okay, in the same way, right? Uh, the way you push these people down is by using media, is by using all the tools that I've mentioned before, SEO, PPC, and stuff like that, right? So if you think about it, this media 
is considered tools. They are just tools for you to push people down the funnel. Okay? So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me explain that situation right there. Okay? So, let me show you how a funnel, together with the media that we have just learned about, how do you push people down the funnel? Okay? So, imagine, okay, let's say uh, I am selling Apple computers. Okay? So, I'm, I'm selling a MacBook. Very, very simple stuff. Okay? So, how does a Apple get people from not knowing them, right? Not knowing them at all, to knowing them and giving them tons of money? Okay, so at the top, for example, let's see what they're going to do. So on the content side, right, Apple has these live streams. They always have these live streams on YouTube, for example. They put it on YouTube, right? They broadcast it to the news, okay? And so people who do not know about Apple, they suddenly know about Apple, okay? Uh, uh, Apple also runs a lot of YouTube ads. They run Facebook ads. They run Snapchat ads, for example. They run TikTok ads, okay? So they're getting people into the ecosystem so that they actually know about the brand and stuff like that. Okay, middle of funnel. How, how, how do people, for example, how do they push them? Okay, they push them, for example, uh, they have Apple stores, right? So you could potentially go and um, go into an Apple store, a physical store, and you go and check out their products, right? Get to know them, get to know the philosophy, get to know the brand and the product itself, right? That, that is a way of pushing people down because it's more and more and more and stuff like that. Okay, they also can run retargeting ads. So in digital advertising, there's something called retargeting ads where I visit your website, and then I can, you know, run it at over and over and over again to you, to the same person. And basically, you know, that's building that relationship over and over again. Okay. And then uh, bottom of funnel, for example, how do we really, really convince people who are ready to buy, for example, right? Uh, people, uh, Apple can use, for example, promotions, right? They can say, oh, we'll give you a free gift card or whatever it is, gift card, right? And okay, I, I finally, okay, yes, Apple, I will give you money, right? Give you promotions, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, they can run more retargeting ads. Okay, so can you see, right? It takes a tremendous amount of money. It takes a lot of energy for someone to go from the top of funnel to the bottom of the funnel, right? At the end of the day, they're going to spend $2,000. They're going to spend $4,000 with you, right? So how much energy can you take, okay? You're going to spend time and energy. So either ways, it's going to take money in some sense, okay? It's just that you better make sure that the amount that they pay you, for example, they pay you $4,000, right? You pay Apple $4,000, Right, and then uh, this is called lifetime value, or or like average order value. So how much are you? How much do people normally pay you, and how much do they pay you throughout the entire lifespan of the customer? Okay, as long as your LTV is more than your CAC, okay, you are profitable. Okay, so what is CAC? CAC is cost of acquisition. So for example, you spend eight hundred dollars in Facebook advertising. Okay, as long as the four hundred dollars is more than the eight hundred dollars, you are making profit. Does this make sense? Right? You are you are making more than how much you are spending in advertising, so you are making money here, profitable. Make sense? This is called the LTV, CAC ratio. Very simple. Okay, so that is basically this part of it where the marketing funnel. As long as you understand that you are using tools in your media kit, right? What's your media kit? This is your media kit. Everything here. Is it, all of the tools here you can use to push people down the funnel and for them to give you money eventually, okay? So that's basically the entire marketing funnel, okay? So at the top, uh, right, uh, Facebook, Google Ads, etc., etc., right? Everybody in the marketing department is all driving people down into the funnel. That is basically it, okay? So now that you understand this, um, you are a level two marketer, okay? You you understand what it takes to get people to pay you money. It's not it's not an overnight thing. It's not uh, like just give me money and they'll just give you money. It doesn't work like that, right? You need advertising, you need marketing, you need sales, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So another thing or an extension of this concept is something that you need to understand purely because if you want to be a full stack marketer or you want to be really, really good at advertising or make a ton of profit in your business, for example, you need to know these two concepts. Okay, these two concepts, acquisition and retention. Okay, so people think that advertising is just getting people to buy one time. Okay, and let's use the 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 the, the example of Apple for for example, the world's richest company to show you why that is not the case. Okay, so acquisition is basically getting to buy, uh, getting a customer to give you money for the first time. Okay, so I'm acquiring the customer, right? I acquire the customer so that in the future I can sell them more things, okay? So how does Apple do this, for example? 
Okay, so in an acquisition phase, I'm going to ask you to buy a MacBook Pro. Okay, an iPad, sorry. i make it simple. An iPad. So Apple gets you, an, gets you to buy an iPad in the acquisition phase. Okay, once they've got you in, right, you use your iPad, and guess what? You are very, very happy. Great. Okay, you're very, very happy. You love Apple. You love the products that they make, and you're very, very satisfied, right? And so in the retention phase, right, Apple gets you to buy the App Store, right? You buy apps in the App Store, okay? You go and buy a MacBook Pro, okay? You go and buy Apple TV, for example, okay? So this iPad right here, even though it was $800, right? In the future, you're gonna, they're, they're gonna have you spend a thousand bucks. They're gonna spend you a 200 bucks. You're gonna spend 400 bucks, for example, right? And in the future, in, you know, in the next three to six months, for example, you go and spend like $3,000 with them, okay? So this is what is called the front end. Can you see this? This is called the back end, okay? This is how all big companies or how people who do very big numbers scale their companies, okay? It's because in the acquisition phase, in the front end phase, right? Generally, they don't care about profit, okay? They don't care about profit, okay? They only care about profit in the retention phase, okay? So these are two stages, right? Two stages that you need to understand because if you want to actually become a very good marketer, uh, most of the time, you need to get good at acquisition first, okay? If you can acquire customers on the acquisition phase, right, uh, retention shouldn't be an issue if your product or service is actually quite decent or very, very good, okay? So once you acquire the customer on the front end, right, so imagine, right, $800, right? So we have just made $800, okay? And the iPad, for example, costs $200 to make and to manufacture, right? So we pay, uh, for example, $550 for advertising, okay? So... Uh, on the Apple's perspective, right, they did it. They they only made fifty dollars in profit. Okay, so by selling an eight hundred dollar item, sorry, by selling an eight hundred dollar item, they only made fifty dollars in profit. Is that a good business? No, that is not a good business, right? Fifty dollars is in, insanely low. Like how are they how are they gonna pay people? How are they how are they gonna pay the engineers and stuff like that? Okay, where Apple really makes their money and why they are so profitable and so good at what they do is because after they have paid acquisition, after they have spent the first time, this 550 on ads, right? They are going to buy from you over and over again. And so, for example, um, they're gonna buy a $3,000 MacBook Pro from you, right? This $3,000, for example, it costs $1,000 for Apple to make, right? So in Apple here, they make $2,000 in profit, right? And have $0 in ads. Can you see this? So this is this is really pure profit because this two thousand dollars, right? I don't pay any ads. It's free. It's honestly free, right? It, right. So the, the the profit margin is being protected. Does that make sense? Okay. So that is why uh, a lot of people online, especially, all they can do is acquire. Okay. If you cannot retain, if you cannot solve retention as well, uh, you won't be able to grow a big company. Okay. So acqu acquisition, right? You can, you definitely can make it, for example, like five, ten million dollars per year. Okay. Uh, but the, the problem with that is that over time, as you continue operating the business in year four, in year five, for example, you will start making, seeing it very, very difficult for you to grow your company. And that, that is going to make you extremely, extremely frustrated. Okay. That is the problem with a lot of companies. They acquire the customer and then they do not know how to retain they do not how, know how to make the customer pay them over and over again, okay? I'll give you the example in the e-commerce space. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'm not sure whether you've seen dropshippers or dropshipping ads, okay? Dropshipping is basically a business model, but basically a lot of dropshippers, what they do is they acquire the customer, right? And then the customer gets the product for the first time and they hate the product, they don't like it. And then they don't trust the brand anymore. And then they don't buy from them. And that is why they cannot retain there's no retention in the customer. Understand? Okay. So I just need you to uh, need you and write, you know, write down in your notes or whatever, uh, acquisition and retention. And it's very, very important for you to understand this. Okay. You need skill sets to master both. However, uh, if you're starting marketing for the first time, you need to uh, master acquisition. After you master acquisition, you need to go and learn retention. This will make you a ton of money. Serious. Okay. So those are the two 
uh, uh, forms of marketing you need to understand. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I'll give you a very, very simple breakdown of what sales and what marketing is. Okay, so I'll give you the perspective of a very, very big software company. Okay, so I don't know whether you have heard of this before, but uh, Salesforce. Salesforce is a very big software company. They sell enterprise CRM software. Okay, so if you do not know what CRM is, welcome to marketing. Okay, CRM is basically uh, customer relationship management. Okay, that they, they literally have software for that. They are a very big company, two three hundred dollar, three two three hundred billion dollar company. Okay, so if you're in the space, you're probably gonna use them eventually. Okay, so sales and marketing, sales and marketing. Okay, so what is sales? Sales is generally when you're talking over the phone. Okay, you're talking over Zoom. You're, you're talking over a phone call. And generally, you're selling someone to buy your product. Okay, why, why is there a need for sales? Okay, generally, when you're selling high ticket stuff. Okay, so when you're selling maybe like $3,000 per month package. So this is what, 36 k per year, right? If you're selling a $10,000 package, Okay, or you're selling like a uh, $500,000 software package, right? Uh, they are sales purely because people, when they buy from you, when they are giving you a ton of money at, at one shot, right? They need to understand what they are buying. Okay, they, they generally don't trust you when you're paying a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Okay, so you know, when, when you're selling uh, a lot of the times agency services, freelancers, right? You're, you're paying a lot of money upfront. So you need a sales call. That's why it's called sales call. Understand? Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's sales. What is marketing? Okay. Marketing is the act of, for example, generating leads. Um, and then uh, generating, for example, okay, I gave you the context of a Facebook ad, Facebook ad. Okay. So you write a Facebook ad, right? You write the copy and then you put a video and photo and stuff like that. Okay. And then this Facebook ad, okay, this goes to a website. Okay, this goes to your website, this goes to your landing page Ex example. That is considered marketing. Okay, because you are doing sales. Technically, you're doing sales. You're writing copy and you're selling at scale. Okay, on in sales, right, you're normally talking one-to-one. -one. You're talking on a phone call. You're talking a one-to-one -one conversation, right? With one prospect talking to one customer. In marketing, you are generally talking to a lot of, a lot of people because you can spend $1,000 in ads and that ad, is going to be shown to, for example, forty thousand dollar, forty k people. Okay, so marketing is is sorry, marketing is sales but multiplied. Okay, uh, yeah. If you are not going to go into high ticket space, you don't need to do sales. I'll just let you know. There are a lot of people who make a ton of money just doing marketing. Okay, so uh, it's really dependent on what you do. Generally, sales is more uncomfortable because you need to talk to people. Okay, just letting you know. Okay, so uh, we're coming to the end soon. Okay, let me go into what skills you actually need to succeed uh, in a mo marketing or sales role. Uh, but basically, if you want to become a full stack marketer, if you want to really, really make a lot of money, uh, you generally need these things online. Okay, so let me talk about skills. Okay, uh, skill set is very important because once you actually learn the skill set, it's going to you know follow you for the rest of your career. So it's definitely going to be something that is worth investing in, okay? There's no point uh, shortcutting it because eventually you need to know these things, right? So if you want to make a ton of money or you want to have a promotion or whatever it is, the skill sets that you need in marketing, okay? Number one skill set, you need to be able to write copy, okay? So what is copy? Copy is being able uh, to write something and when someone reads it, they are compelled to do an action, okay? So they call it, that action is called a call to action, okay? So uh, you want people to buy a product. You want people to press a button. Okay, that that is actually actually called penmanship. Penmanship. If you are really good at writing, and that copy, that piece of copy, that piece of text is gonna convince someone to buy, right? You're gonna make a ton of money. Simple. Okay. So copywriting is generally uh, the foundation ele element of every single marketing job. Purely because if you cannot communicate effectively, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. You, they're not gonna buy. Okay. That's the first one, okay? Uh, the second one, okay, uh, keep in mind, this is the number one skill set, just letting you know. However, uh, I'm gonna be talking about other things that will uh, make you a better marketer, okay? Besides copy, you need to know how to run uh, conversion rate optimization, or you generally need to know what converts online, okay? So obviously, I, I can go 
very, very big cost or whatever talking about CRO, but conversion rate optimization is basically knowing how to build websites that actually get people to buy something. Okay, that's conversion rate optimization. Okay, there are other things called split tests, uh, AB, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what do they call it? It's not Google Analytics. That's an another one I forgot. Uh, but basically, yeah, different types of things, CRO. Okay, the third one is media buying. Okay, so media buying is basically the act of buying media. Okay, so if I go and buy Facebook ads, I go and buy Snapchat ads, right? I am actively putting my product and service in front of that customer, in front of a Facebook audience, for example. Okay, that is considered media buying. Okay, so that is the act of running ads. Okay, so I, I just be honest with you, I just be upfront with you. Anybody can go on YouTube right now and search for Facebook ad tutorial um, 2022. Anybody can do that. And within seven to 14 days, generally, uh, they, they know how to run an ad. The difference is that people who know how to run ads versus people who are marketers are different things. If you do not know how to market, if you do not know how to position your product, if you do not know how to sell your product in a compelling way, it doesn't matter whether you know how to run ads. That is why a lot of like advertising agencies, they are not actually advertising agencies. They don't know, they are not marketers. They just know how to run ads. Yeah, and that is why uh, running ads nowadays is a commodity, okay? The, 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 the people who make the real money here are marketers, okay? Marketers know how to run ads, plus they know how to write copy, plus they know how to convince people to buy, okay? These are two different skill sets, okay? So don't pigeonhole yourself, okay? If you are never ran ads in your life, if you have never spent a dollar on ads, okay, don't think that, Oh, as long as I learn how to run ads, I'm going to make money. Not, not true. You need to know how to like market the thing and, you know, write copy and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. The next skill set you need to know is how to build marketing funnels. Okay. So you need to be able to build marketing funnels purely because um, you need to be able to build the thing that actually produces money. Otherwise, people are generally not going to pay you. Okay, if they already have a funnel that works, that is profitable and converting, uh, that's very, very good already. However, if you're starting from scratch, you need to know how to build marketing funnels. So marketing funnels are very, very simple, right? From the ad, right? They go into a landing page, for example. Uh, imagine you collect an email, something like that, right? And then it goes to a sales page or a webinar or whatever it is, okay? There are many different types of marketing funnels. I'm not gonna go in depth to, into any of them, but basically you need to know how to, to build them, okay? Generally at the end, there's money, simple, okay? And then lastly, you need to know creatives, okay? So what are creatives? Creatives are videos, right? They are photos. So the actual ad, the actual image that people see when they actually uh, buy from you. Okay, so what is the ad they see? What is the video creative that you see? That's called creative, okay? So those are the skill sets that you need to learn if you really want to get very, really, very really good at marketing, right? If you want to get a promotion, if you want to open up your own business in marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Or even if uh, you are building a business online, if you are selling anything online, right? You need to try to master these things because if you can't do these things, you're not going to be able to bring in money at the same time, okay? So, yeah, okay. So the last part of this video I'm gonna be talking to you about the, the paths that you can take, for example, okay? The paths that you can take, okay? So what are the paths? What are the routes? So how, how can you, for example, get rich or how can you get a promotion or whatever it is, okay? What should you be learning first if you wanted to go and do this thing, if you are starting this from scratch, okay? Uh, there are a few that you can do, okay? So you can start with learning how to media buy or learning how to run ads, okay? If you wanna go to that route, if you wanna learn how to run ads first, Okay, I recommend you to go and learn Facebook, okay? There are a lot of problems with Facebook ads. However, Facebook is the most advanced platform out there, okay? They have the most data and stuff like that, okay? So if you learn Facebook first, it's very, very easy for you to go and learn other platforms. Other platforms, Snapchat, TikTok, all of them copy the same platform that Facebook has. So it's actually not easy to port over the same skills. And if Facebook is the most complicated thing, then all the av other advertising channels are quite easy. Okay, so this is my recommendation. If you want to learn how to run ads, okay, just run ads. Okay, that's media buying. Okay, if you are interested in content marketing, so if you're interested in producing content, uh, if you are influencer, social media, you know, content creator, that's what they always call it, content creator, right? And then uh, if you want to expand that skill set, you probably want to learn SEO, okay? 
So how do you rank? How do you get people to pay attention? Stuff like that. You need to learn how to build backlinks. Okay. And then you need to learn partnerships. Okay. The reason why you need partnerships is because generally uh, backlinks are built by partnerships. So you need to learn how to convince people to, hey, would you like to be my partner, right? I can value add to your company, you be my partner, etc., etc. Okay, that's content marketing. Uh, the next one, and I feel I, I, I'm being biased here because, um, yeah, but basically I, I feel this is the best way is you start off learning how to write copy, right? And then you go and learn to build funnels, for example. Okay, and then uh, you basically go and run real marketing campaigns. So as long as you know how to write copy and build funnels, right? Uh, generally, learning how to media buy is very, very simple. So if you go and do these hard things first and get very, very, very good at copy, uh, then you can go and transition into this stage right here, okay? And lastly, uh, if you want to become a CMO at a big company, for example, right? If you want to be the chief marketing officer, if you want to ascend right there, right? Generally, uh, this is your career path. You start off with some uh, digital marketing specialist, Right, so you get really, really good at one channel. You get really, really good at that one thing, for example, and then you expand your skill set, and then you become a full stack marketer. So you learn different media channels and stuff like that. You learn to become a master. You understand how everything becomes, and then lastly, you become like a CMO. You become the chief marketing officer, right? So you're controlling all of the media. You're con controlling the budgets, for example. Okay, yeah. So if you see this, um, this is a pure marketer route. So if you want to stay in marketing only. Okay, however, if you're running a business, if you're an entrepreneur, you need to sell something. Uh, from the get-go, from the start, you already need to try to know how to, you need to be half decent at it, right? Half decent at this, 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 okay? Yeah, so this is basically it, right? I'm trying to convince, uh, sorry, not convince. I'm trying to uh, summarize an entire marketing degree for you, okay? And I hopefully this is useful for you, okay? If you want more information and stuff like that, or you want to learn how to start your own online business, okay, feel free to hit down in the link in the description below and check out gettingpaid.io, right? Gettingpaid.io, okay? Hopefully this is useful for you. Let me know if you have any other questions uh, down in the comment section below or if you have any uh, suggestions on what future videos you want me to create as well, okay? Yeah, thank you so much for your time and yep, hope to see you soon.